Hockey 605, we're visiting with senior defenseman for the Sioux Falls Flyers, Tony Kirsch. Great game you had today, Tony. Thanks. And we had a little surprise um, as we're broadcasting away. We got a shout out from someone by the name of Deb Berg from Florida. You know who that is? Yeah. It's my aunt watching down in Florida. It's fun to have them be able to watch from yeah. way down there. It was fun, and she was wishing you luck. And about the time we got the message, right after we got the message, we sent the word up to the the TV crew up above and let them know that she was watching, you got an assist. There was some kismet going on there. Yeah, it was great timing. Yeah, you must have known, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, it was fun. We were happy that she let us know that she was watching. So how, how long have you been playing hockey, Tony? Um, maybe 12 or 13 years. Ah, you've been playing a little while, and you have a younger brother that plays as well, right? Yep. So you're a hockey family? Yeah. So what's hockey meant for your family? Um, it's just a way that we can get together and have fun outside in the rink and just mess around. So you guys have been going to games and traveling for quite a few years. Now, have yeah. you had those weekends where you were going one direction, your brother going another? Yeah. That probably wasn't such a bad deal sometimes, was it? No. <laughs> nice to get away. Yeah, because sometimes uh, the back seat gets a little bit too small for two brothers. Yeah. So, Tony, are you thinking you might play after high school? Uh, not probably not competitively, but play intramural. Well, once it's in your blood, it's in your blood, right? <laughs> yeah. So, what are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm going to go to SDSU here in Brookings to study sports management. Ah, good. Well, there's a lot of room for sports management. You can still stay involved with the game that way, right? Yeah, that's my goal. And they um, they do have some ice here in Brookings, so you can still play. Yeah. So, what's your favorite part about playing the game? Just getting you know, to hang out with all the guys. Yeah, it's uh, that, that companionship and that friendship, those bonds you form are hard to break, aren't they? Yeah, I'll remember these guys forever. Uh, well, especially these good games here. You guys are marching your way toward the championship now. Yeah, that'll be a fun game. Yeah. Well, we've, um, we've been enjoying learning a little bit about hockey. What's some, what's some things that you think newcomers to hockey should know? It's a great game. Sometimes it's hard to get started, but stay, stay with it and... It's one of the best games ever. It's, it's what we call a game that's easy to fall in love with. Yeah. Do you remember when you first fell in love with it? Yeah. What, what it was that made you fall in love with the game? I was watching, I had a cousin that played up in Watertown. I was watching one of his games and decided that I wanted to go out and try it. So the next year, I went out and tried hockey for the first time and been playing it since. Yeah, once you, once you put strap on those, those blades on the bottoms of your feet and go out there, it seems like you're kind of hooked, right? Yeah. All right. Well, Tony, I know you guys want to go refuel the machine and celebrate this win today. Thanks for taking some time with us at Hockey 605 and good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Oh, do you want to do a shout out to that aunt? Yep. Thanks for watching, Debbie. It's an <laughs> awesome to see. All right. Thanks, Tony. Take care.